वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर डैश थर्टी टू सो स्टेटमेंट इज द कॉलम इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड फ्राम हाई स्ट्रेंथ कंक्रीट एंड फोर ए थर्टी सिक्स स्टील री एनफोर्सिंग रॉड इफ इट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू एक्जियल फोर्स ऑफ एट हंड्रेड किलो मीटन डिटरमाइन द रिक्वायर्ड डायमीटर ऑफ ईच रॉड सो दैट वन फोर्थ ऑफ द लोड इज कैरिड बाई द स्टील एंड थ्री फोर्थ बाय द कंक्रीट ई ऑफ स्टील इज टू हंड्रेड गेगा पासकल ई ऑफ कंक्रीट इज टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव गेगा पासकल सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ दिस कंक्रीट बीम हैविंग फोर रॉड्स एंड दैट इज एक्टेड स्टील रॉड्स एंड दैट इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाई अ कंप्रेसिव लोड ऑफ एट हंड्रेड किलो न्यूटन दिस रॉड्स आर मेड ऑफ ए थर्टी सिक्स स्टील एंड दिस इज कंक्रीट सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द रिक्वायर्ड डायमीटर ऑफ ईच ऑफ दिस रॉड सो गिवन डेटा कंक्रीट कॉलम एंड फोर ए थर्टी सिक्स स्टील ई ऑफ स्टील इज दिस ई ऑफ कंक्रीट इज दिस एक्जियल लोड इज दिस एंड इट इज गिवन दैट लोड टेकन बाय द स्टील विच इज रिप्रेजेंटेड एट पी एस दैट इज वन फोर्थ ऑफ द टोटल लोड आई विल शो यू वन फोर्थ ऑफ द लोड इज कैरिड बाय द स्टील एंड थ्री फोर्थ बाय द कंक्रीट सो पी ऑफ कंक्रीट इज थ्री बाय पी सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द डायमीटर सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन सो द टोटल लोड is equal to p and that is equal to load taken by concrete plus load taken by steel so p is uh, equal to pc plus p of steel and this p is given as 800 kilo newton so 800 is equal to pc plus ps total load is taken by some of the portion is taken by this uh, concrete while some is taken by steel so this is one now from this load taken by load taken by this uh, steel which is ps and that is equal to 1 over 4th of p so 1 over 4th multiply by 800 is equal to 200 kilo newton so this is the load taken by the steel and load taken by concrete is 3 by 4 times p so 3 by 4 multiply by 800 is equal to 600 kilo newton again you can see that due to this load the compression in concrete and this reinforcing steel rod will be same so i will write del c is change in length of concrete is equal to change in length of steel and we know that change in length is equal to in general it is equal to p into l divided by a into e so i will write p of concrete into length as length of concrete is same as length of steel which is equal to l so pc into l divided by area of concrete c into e and that is e of c it is equal to ps into l divided by area of this solid bars divided by e of steel now what we will do is that this l will cancel with this so we will left with pc divided by ac into ec is equal to ps divided by as into es so i will write ps divided by area of steel rods into es and here we will left pc divided by ec and area of ec area of this concrete block will be equal to 0.3 this is 0.3 meter so area is 0.3 square minus area of this steel bar so if you remove the area of steel bra bar from this area so you will get the area of concrete so i will write it over here 0.3 square minus area of steel into ec will give you this left hand side term okay now pc load carried by the concrete into 
थ्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो नाइन माइनस ए एस ई सी इज ट्वेंटी फाइव इन टू टेन एस टू पावर नाइन इज इक्वल टू पी ऑफ स्टील डिवाइड बाय एरिया ऑफ स्टील क्लियर इन टू ई एस विच इज टू हंड्रेड इन टू टेन एस टू पावर नाइन so if you move this 210 raised to the power 9 on the left side so we will get 200 into 10 raised to the power 9 p of concrete and divide by this 25 into 10 raised to the power 9 that will be equal to p steel into 0.09 minus a of steel divided by area of steel so this will cancel with this and we will get 200 by 25 will give you 8 so 8 time p of concrete is equal to 0.09 p of steel minus a of steel into p of steel divided by a of steel so you can take ps again ps is we will take ps common so neglect this step this this step so ps is equal to 0.09 minus as divided by as is equal to 8 pc so what we will do is we will divide ps on both sides so 8 pc over ps is equal to 0.09 divided by as minus as over ए एस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो नाइन डिवाइड बाई ए एस माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू एट पी सी ओवर पी एस सो फ्राम हेयर यू विल गेट एट पी सी ओवर पी एस माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो नाइन सो इफ यू टेक द एल सी एम ओवर हेयर so you have only ps in denominator so ps divided by ps is 1 and 1 multiplied by 8 pc we equal to 8 pc minus 1 divided by ps will be ps and ps into 1 is ps is equal to 0. Point, here i have as equal to 0.09 over as now from here if you invert the equation on both sides so you will get as over 0.09 is equal to ps over 8 pc minus ps so your area of steel will be equal to 0.09 ps divided by 8 pc plus p of steel where ps is equal to load taken by steel and pc is load taken by concrete concrete we have calculated ps was 200 kN clear and pc is 600 kN i will show you both ps is 200 kilo newton and it is 600 kilo newton so put it in this formula as is equal to 0.9 times 200 divided by 8 into 600 plus 200 clear and we know that area of steel so there were four steel bars clear 1 2 3 4 so this is the this as is the area of four times steel bars so i will write 4 multiply by area of one single bar is pi by 4 d square and that is equal to 0.9 0.09 this is 0.09 
times 200 divided by 8 into 600 plus 200. So when you calculate this right side term that will be equal to 0 0.00364 will cut with this and d square will be equal to pi d square will be this. So d square is equal to 0 0.0036 divided by pi which is 3.1417 clear and when you calculate it you will get d square is equal to 0 0.00011458. And that will be in meter and d will be equal to under the root of 0 0.00011458 so you will get d is equal to 0 0.03385 meter or in millimeter diameter of one rod will be equal to 33.9 millimeter And this was all about this problem 4-32. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Also give me feedback about the videos. Thank you for watching.